All right. So, I'm just going to get right into it. NFTs and gaming, all right? I, I've been a big proponent of wanting this. And you know what? I still do. Uh, I do still think it's going to work in the future. Just right now, how we're currently going about it. No. Um, I, I, in fact, hate everything about current gaming NFTs, if I must be honest. I'm just going to read off my, my little tweet thing here. What I learned is that NFTs and video games do not mix, sadly. One person commented, and I think that they got it right. Then I started a thread right off of his comment, so I'll get, I'll get to that. So, Stephen... Polizzi, um says, I think devs need to focus on gameplay over NFTs and market. The idea of digital ownership is great, but it doesn't matter if the game doesn't keep me engaged with lackluster mechanics and a boring story. 100% agreed. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. <clears throat> and this is where I double down on what he's saying and what I'm saying at the same time just to kind of paint a better overall picture of my thought process on this. So I say to him, exactly. There are so many games that exist today that are pretty decent by today's standards that are Web 2 in terms of gameplay, okay? And even they lose players due to a lack of upkeep and the core gameplay becomes kind of, I don't know, bland if nothing new is added to the game. This is in an established space, meaning gaming. Like, the traditional gaming space. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, the, and so on. We have Steam, we have Epic, we have all, all these different publishers and whatever, right? We have these traditional ways of making, funding, and distributing games. And even with that established method okay we have lots of success like lots of success stories to talk about sure but do people ever talk about the failures really like in terms of like how many failures have happened in a year and stuff no but you're you're gonna celebrate all the good games right so that's where i, I, I cut you know what i mean that's what i'm getting into about this that's in an established space where games still fail okay and have the exposure to the mainstream. But the mainstream plays it and realize that the game is shit. So now let me get into this. Now, a lot of these NFT first games, they want us to buy the assets first for a game that we cannot play, okay? And just hope to God that... It's going to be good enough when it finally does eventually, maybe, possibly come out, hopefully. Um, and that it'll be good enough for my investment. No thanks. How about you make me a game first, okay? Then we'll talk. I don't trust anybody. I don't even trust my own favorite tech companies like Microsoft or Nintendo, let alone some fucking nerd sitting in a computer chair like I do. Making the game. I want, I'm want. i supposed to invest into him? Me and uh, 1,200 other people are supposed to invest into this guy? There are established companies that fail. Why should I invest in you? Does anybody realize how many games release in a single year on these established platforms with failure as their backstory a lot more than people will ever come to grips with and now they want to create an even more niche bubble to live in so that's a huge bubble already right it was once small it kept growing it got big and we can say the same thing you know maybe maybe this is you know like a little niche bubble we can start in and maybe it'll grow let me tell you something if you're trying to speak to gamers about a game you are making, they need to see the game. They need to play the game. So you're not going to be getting funding from the gamers. You're looking in the wrong spot. Like, you can ask us to invest, but you're going to make 
all this money, and because you're so, like, indie of a dev, you're going to need more funding to get done what you need to get done because you're going to get taken advantage of by your own team, by your own developers, and everything, saying that they need this much to create this work. They need this much to create this much work. You know, this is that whole know your worth thing coming into play. Yeah, well, when everything's peer-to-peer, -peer, you're going to have games that are way more expensive than they need to be, and they're not even going to be good. Like, it's kind of sad. When you have... I'm not speaking for every game, by the way. There are people, okay, out there. I'm going to say Farmer Nash with the Goombles, okay? He's dedicated. He has a team that's dedicated. He is addicted to his game loop pattern that he's created, and he knows that his mobile game will survive. Now, let's go look at a game like Blanco's Block Party, okay? On ETH. So you would think, ooh, there's lots more money there, lots more investment to be had, right? Okay, sure. They got it initially. Now the game's out, okay? Game's playable. Okay, sweet. Guess how many gamers actually play the fucking game? Like, three or four. I'm not even kidding. Like, three or four people were playing the game on a daily. That's it. Do you know how many people were buying the NFTs, hoping to sell them? Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. You expected that the NFTs were going to fund the game. So you asked people to buy the NFTs. But those NFTs were actual in-game assets. So now you have investors holding onto assets that they will never fucking use. They're just hoping that enough players will jump in with what NFTs like what are they gonna what are they gonna use? What are they gonna use if the investors have all the fucking playable characters? Did you ever think of that? Did you ever think <laughs> Did you ever think of that? If all the investors have all the player characters players to use, what are the players going to use when they come into the game? Right? So you're expecting them to just go and buy it off of those investors, right? Well, guess what those investors want? Money. So <laughs> mm. Is the picture becoming more clear? You can't raise funding off of the NFT to make sure that the game is going to succeed. That's what the coin is for. And even then you can't do it. Yeah, prove me wrong. I haven't seen a single game get actually created. Like a, a full, like a package game that isn't just in my browser. Blanco's was the closest thing to that. I guess what they're doing. Are you ready? Because there was only four fucking players. They're closing down the PC version of the game, making a whole new mobile version of the game, and then transferring all the assets over to the mobile version of the game that nobody's gonna fucking download in the first place. Because nobody asked them to make a mobile game. It was a decision that the team randomly made because they only had four players in the PC version of the game. Alright? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, I, I'm out. I, I can rant and rant forever, but I'm just going to make you sell your bags. <laughs>